Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline. My name is Rajiv and in this video I will show you about to my, to my development plan of uh, Renderbox application. So initially Renderbox uh, I developed in year 2015 and I released the first version in August 2015 and the motive behind creation of Renderbox is I uh, just want to learn how Python application uh, created and how we can you create some desktop application using Python and PyQt. So it was fine. I just developed that uh, Renderbox application and it's free if you download it, uh, then it's good. If you don't, then you can go to my website technical director dot in slash render box or you can just search in Google render box you can find the uh, the link of this website in the first okay so uh, the uh, when when I developed that it was a simple user interface uh, with okay when when you start this application you see some uh, your computer rendering process CPU uses RAM uses and on the second tab you see like all the jobs which is in queue and you can start and stop jobs so the uh, and, and you can see the logs and kind of your task manager fancy task manager which shows all the Maya and uh, other uh, plugins information so there's three applications are connected with render box at this time in render box 1.1 that is Blender, Nuke and Maya. So that was fine and after after uh, that that release I just moved forward with my job and I was busy with my current development in my in my company. So I did not take this application further for any kind of development with Renderbox. I just released that and kind of I forgot that. But if you if you go to sourceforce.net project mx render box, which is the render box uh, uh, download link, okay. So here at at today is 22 April 2018, and this week 29 download. So people appreciate this work, and they are downloading. They are kind of exploring this. And obviously they they are using this into their their production or maybe their uh, rendering process okay so then if you if you look closely uh, after two years still weekly 30 download that that's kind of good uh, people are actually expecting more from render box so then I go with the all statistic of render box and it is amazing you see almost all over the world render box downloaded by artists or peoples right so here we can see like in India 756 download United States 320 download Canada 40 Brazil 48 China 104 Australia 25 like you you just see in this map all over the world you, uh, all users downloaded render box there are total 2883 download of render box application all over the world and this number actually inspired me to create now create something big so all of the people who downloaded version 1 and I hope they are using if they are not definitely I know what their concern is it's a rendering application but it only render on a single machine so now we will take render box to a next level where we will use distributed computing so we will distribute the renders on multiple machines and will make this uh, render box network support so with that I started render box so now here we have render box 2.0 which 
which is still in the development process but I would like to show you this uh, application in very beginning stage so I can take your comments your feedback also and that will help me to make this application more useful for end users so I just give you a quick idea about what that interface is so the first thing is okay maybe this video will getting more bigger uh, I'll stop this video now and I'll see you in next video where we will just talk about Renderbox 2.0 okay see you in next video